Just lost and only wanted to know the way home. Oh. And did they tell him? Yes, straight away. And the extra big creature Ooh. with huge <laughs> sharp teeth lumbered off home. And they all lived happily ever after. Hooray! <laughs> Is that a true story, Little White Owl? Well, it is true that it is my story. A great story. But time for us to go now. Oh, really? So the treasure was hidden for 1,000 years. Oh, that's a very, very long time. But finally, the clues led the treasure hunters to the prize. A very old cave full of of treasure. Oh. That evening, I collected many, many treasures. But the one I wanted most of all was up in the night sky. Oh! Look, a star! So sparkly! A treasure. Treasure? Yes, the first star of the evening is the most special treasure of all. What happened next, little white owl? I made a wish. A wish? Starlight, star bright. The first star I see tonight. I wish I may. I wish I might. Have the wish I wish tonight. <gasps> what did you wish for? I can't tell you my wish. <sighs> but I can tell you what happened. Oh. I closed my eyes. And when I opened them again, a big shiny star appeared right above my tree. So close, I could almost reach out and touch it. A special treasure just for me. Really? Wow. Is that a true story, Little White Owl? It is true that it is my story. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm off to explore the wonders of the night. Good night. Bye, Bye Little White Owl. 
Yeah. Hurry up, Peter Pan. <laughs> she has like it. Story time. Who knows? It could well be. <laughs> oh, can you tell a really cold story to cool us down, please, little white owl? Yes, please. It's so hot. Can it also be a really sleepy bedtime story, please, little white owl? What a good idea. <clears throat> Once upon a time, long, long ago, in a magical land, the sun shone very bright all day long and all through the night. Huh? huh? The sun shone at night? It was soon so hot that all the plants and even the trees complained. Even the trees? I'm afraid so. All the flowers in the meadow hid from the sun and there was no water left in the river. <gasps> oh no, not the river. But where did all the fish go? And what happened to the frogs? It was just so hot. Wait, wasn't this supposed to be a really cold story? Yes, you're making us feel even hotter with all this hotness. Just wait and you'll see. It was soon so hot that I decided something had to be done. So what did you do? First I flew up high into the sky. Up, 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 up to the cold winter clouds. Up to the clouds? Wow! I flew up there to ask the clouds to help. Well, what happened next? Well, luckily, the clouds agreed to help. So the cool clouds drifted over and covered up the hot, hot sun. Who, by the way, was rather happy to have a little rest from shining. And then? Next, the clouds got bigger and bigger and burst to let out cooling rain. Hooray for cooling rain! <laughs> <laughs> and it rained, and it rained, and it rained. Hooray! <laughs> the cool, cool rain just kept on pouring down. It rained so much that the rivers filled right up again. So I said thank you to the clouds and asked them to stop raining. And they did. That was lucky. What wasn't lucky was that the sun was having such a lovely time. She decided to keep on resting. Oh dear! Oh dear indeed! Soon it became so cold that the water in the river froze. <gasps> that is cold. It was so cold that even my own feathers froze. Really? Really and truly. Just like this. Ah. <sighs> It was cold, but wonderful as well. The forest became a magical winter wonderland with a frozen river and a frozen waterfall. It's working. You're feeling sleepy? No, but I'm feeling cold. Really cold. Me too, really cold. It's amazing how just thinking of cool things can cool you down. <sighs> Thank you, little white owl. But I think I may be a bit too cold for sleep. So what did you do to get warm again? Well, the very best way to get warm is... Huh? Oh my... A hug, of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course it works so much better. If you have someone to hug. <laughs> oh. Is that the end of the story? Nearly. Luckily, before too long, the sun decided to shine again. The sun shone and shone, and the ice melted. The water flowed again, and the flowers grew and grew and opened up to greet the sun. And that, my dear friends, is the end of the story. That was a good one. Is that a true story, little white owl? 
It is true that it is my story. <gasps> Thank Good you, night. little writer. Good night, everyone. Not bedtime for me. I've only just woken up. Goodbye. Good night. Ooh. What happened next? Nearly there, little nut brown hair. A good story takes time, you know. The sun rose with a glorious glow, just as the moon closed its eyes and went to sleep. The end. Hooray! Can I have another story? I think it's time you let Little White Owl get to sleep. It is her bedtime, after all. Just one more? Please? No one can tell stories like you. <laughs> How about you try to make up a story of your own? A story of my own? I wouldn't know where to start. Well, a story can start with once upon a time or long, long ago. Then you just need to think of an idea. Why don't you look about in the meadow? You might get an idea for a story there. Hmm, maybe I will. I'll make up a story for you, Little White Owl. For me? I can't wait to hear it. Yes, I'll have it ready to tell you at sunset, when you wake up. Thank you, Little Nut Brown Hare. See you then. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Story, here I come. <laughs> Once upon a time, long, long ago, there was a little nut brown hare who saw the sunset. Ooh, has my story started? You're just in time, little white owl. Oh, good. I can't wait. The little nut brown hare saw the sunset was full of red and pink and purple. So bright that you could almost taste them. He decided to invite all his best friends to supper so they could taste the sunset together. How could they taste the sunset? Because he had sweet raspberries as red as the sunset. Oh, he had slurpy strawberries as pink as the sunset. Oh, and he had lovely lavender, as purple as the sunset. Amazing! Yes, and so, that evening, the friends shared the most colourful supper ever. It tasted just as good as the sunset. The end. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> that was a wonderful story. Thank you, little nut brown hair. I think that is the most colourful story I have ever heard. <laughs> Hello. What are you all laughing at? Can't you hear the thunder and lightning? It's all right, little white owl. We're all safe in here. Lightning can't get into the cave. Not even the teensiest, tiniest bits. Ooh, I was fast asleep when suddenly the thunder woke me up. Oh, that was nature's way of telling you to find shelter from the storm. You did the right thing coming here. We've been watching the storm. Oh. oh, see, there it goes again. It's just a loud noise, little white owl. It can't hurt you. Ah, the storm's going away. How can you tell? The longer it takes to hear it, after you see the lightning, the further away the storm is. Now count. Time? Longer than the last time, which means the storm is definitely going away. Yay! I'll have a look. Oh, I think it's gone. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, yes! Everything has stopped, even the rain. <laughs> well, 
Well, I'm going back home to sleep. Woot. Goodbye. Goodbye, little white owl. Goodbye. Sleep well. Is it safe? Very safe, little nut brown hare. It will be nice and dry out there now. Come on, let's go and see. Little White Owl? Last night, there were lots of stars shining in the sky. Although, that's not really unusual. What about the plums? The plums have all gone. And all the creatures in the meadow loved them. They were sweet and juicy and red and shiny and round and rolly. <sighs> There's nothing as special as a plum. Isn't that? Well, let me tell you a story. A story? Yes! It's about a plum tree. A plum tree that was loved by all the creatures in the meadow. The plum tree was very proud. In early summer, it had many, many plums. But by the end of summer, its plums were all gone. That's what happened to our plum tree. That's right. But wait, there's more to the story. Oh, what happens next? The plum tree cried, Oh, my plums have gone. What will the creatures of the meadow do without them? So the plum tree asked the autumn grasses to look after them for a while. So all the creatures, large and small, feasted on grasses through the autumn. Then, when winter came, the grasses didn't know what to do. What will the creatures do without us? They cried. So, the grasses asked the woody shrubs to take care of them. So the creatures enjoyed the woody shrubs all through winter. When spring came, fresh green leaves grew on the branches of the woody shrubs. The creatures ate them all through spring. Finally, it was summertime again, and the plum tree grew new plums. And all the creatures enjoyed the plums once more. Hooray! Hooray! So the plums disappeared because summer was ending. That's how the story goes. And there are treats to enjoy all year, even when there aren't any plums. Different treats at different times. That's right. I wonder what the creatures in this meadow are eating right now. Let's find out. Thank you, Little White Owl. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Swish, 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 Oh! What's all that noise? We are whooshing like water. Swishing like the wind. And splashing like an otter. <laughs> Hoot! Do you mind? I don't like getting wet. Oops, <laughs> sorry, little white owl. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the moon! It's back in the water! Oh, yes it is! And up in the sky, too! Two big, lovely, round moons! Wow! I know a story about the moon. Would you like to hear it? Yeah! yeah. On the first morning of the world, the noisy sun raised her head and chased the quiet moon right out of the sky. And then, on the first evening, it was the quiet moon's turn to sneak out of hiding and chase the noisy sun away. And so it has been ever since that every night and every day, the sun and the moon 
take turns to chase each other out of the sky. <gasps> and so it will be forever. Is that story really true, Little White Owl? Well, it is true that it is my story. Guess how much I love you. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun and adventure with me and all my friends. See you next time. Goodbye, little field mouse. See you tomorrow.